I'm Nina Sperano at UW-Green Bay. An impending invasion or nature symphony? Depends on who you're asking. You may have heard about this mass emergence of cicadas coming to parts of Wisconsin. So if you're planning on braving one of these emergence zones, here's a few things you need to know. Hear that? This noisy insect just might ruin your peaceful summer. Two broods of periodical cicadas will emerge at the same time, something that hasn't happened in 221 years before Wisconsin was even a state. What we're having here is there's two different, two different broods, and it just so happens that this year, two of those broods, a 13 and a 17 year brood, are emerging at the same year. That's Michael Draney, a professor of biology at UW-Green Bay. You can get more than a million of them emerging on an acre of land. So you can easily have thousands and thousands of them in your backyard if, if you're in the right spot. It's not just experts planning a pilgrimage to see them. The timing of it all, just being underground for that many years and coming all at once, the timing is amazing. This map from the U.S. Forest Service shows where these two broods of cicadas will be invading southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. And here's a few facts to take with you so you sound like the expert. The mass emergence is a survival strategy to outnumber predators. Cicadas don't actually fly around. They coat trees and vegetation. The loud buzzing can reach over 90 decibels. They are a potential risk to young trees and pets. Cicadas' crunchy shell can actually block a dog's digestive system. And cicadas are considered harmless to humans, but Professor Draney has one warning for you. If you pick one up, they do have mouth parts that can pierce into a a plant stem and they can jab you with that. So, so don't just pick it up and expect that you're not going to get a <laughs> bitten. So if you're wondering just how loud, 60 decibels is about the level of a conversation. 90 decibels where the professor said the cicada level will be at is about the sound of a lawnmower or a hairdryer, which he says is about enough it could possibly damage your hearing.